The MENA region is by far the most water scarce region in the world. Industrialization continues. So the demand for water is going to grow and grow and grow very fast. And if the countries don't do something significant, we are going to be in a huge demand supply gap by the time we get to 2040. So it's time something very significant is done. Ecolab is a 99-year-old company. We work with more than 3 million customers across 170 countries globally. What we focus on as a company is the industrial markets, institutional markets, and healthcare markets. And what we do there is water treatment, infection prevention solutions, and broad hygiene solutions. Well, we've set ambitious 2030 impact goals around net positive water, around net zero for carbon and climate, diversity, equity, and inclusion goals, and then safety, which is a core value of our company. So as a Chief Sustainability Officer, I have the opportunity to really engage with our customers and really connect them on this premise that there doesn't have to be trade-offs in terms of achieving your business goals and sustainability at the same time. We refer to that as the exponential return on investment that enables us to deliver meaningful business outcomes, operational efficiency, and environmental impact at the highest return. A decade back, we built something called the EGIC, Ecolab Global Intelligence Center. One way I like to describe it is the NASA of the water world. What we are essentially doing here is tracking the customer's operations and the performance of our solutions there. So by analyzing these billions of data points that we collect, we can actually predict what failures possibly can happen in that customer operation three months from now. And we can flag that to the customer and the team. Think how powerful that is. In 2020, leading companies that have been focusing on water stewardship came together to set out to address the global water challenge collectively and to do so through more ambitious, accelerated action. Because so much of Ecolab's work is around water and with the business community on addressing water management issues, they were one of seven co-founding members of the Water Resilience Coalition who launched on World Water Day 2020. The goals of the Water Resilience Coalition are for companies to work together to accelerate progress on the global water and climate challenge. The WRC is Currently a membership of almost 30 companies with 3.5 trillion in market capitalization that are working collaboratively in geographies of shared interest to address water stress and to build more water resilient systems in the face of climate change. What's unique about water is it's highly localized. And so it's important to realize that when it comes to smart water management, that those solutions need to be localized as well. There are three areas in technology that I want to address. The first is the Smart Water Navigator, which is a free, publicly available tool that addresses the challenges and risk factors at the local level. The second is, once we know where those risk factors are, is being able to leverage technologies like water flow intelligence and really begin to optimize that water use by leveraging some of the smart technologies that Ecolab provides them. And finally, it's about leveraging Ecolab 3D, which is a cloud-based platform that enables us to bring together all these different solutions and provide a dashboard, not only at the local level, but enterprise-wide to provide visibility on business and sustainability performance. Several years back, we realized the lifeblood of our business is talent. It's our people. So it became very critical for us to identify talent and build talent bottom up. This was the genesis of us creating what we call the Nalco Saudi University. What we do there essentially is hire fresh graduates out of engineering colleges. We have a 12 month program. They join the sales team, they join the service team, they join the corporate accounts team. And what we have then is a ready group of people to go out there, work with our customers and help them in their progress. We've had several excellent associates emerging from there in the last several years. I actually feel very proud to also say we had our first female engineer in the downstream space, which is not typical of the Saudi Arabian landscape. 
So there's a lot of value creation we've done here in the MENA region over the last 40 years. We ensured that we bring our latest innovations as fast as possible to this part of the world because it's required. The water that we've helped our customers save in the MENA region is about 2 billion liters in the last one year. By virtue of saving this water, we've actually saved 44 trillion British thermal units of energy. And when you reduce the energy usage, you're reducing greenhouse gas emissions. So the impact is huge. We're proud of our long history at Ecolab, but we're even more excited about our future. The next decade will be critical because we're dealing with challenges related to the climate and the water crisis, and it's incumbent on us to come together and collaborate. We can make a meaningful difference if we can work together toward the common goal.